This is some wood I got in Loxahatchee uh, two days ago from my buddy Carlos. Seven big sticks of Florida slash pine. Look at this beautiful wood. Stuff smells really, really, really good. When you cut it, it's got that strong pine pungent smell. Yep. Gonna mill a bit of it and use some of it for just cutting cookies. This, it lasts a long, long time. It's really nice. It's kind of sappy, but it's medium. It's not too hard on the chains. This is my 660. A buddy of mine in Canada just sent me a bunch of black plastic. It's just farmer tech, but it's fun to just kind of mix and match. Sounds kind of gay, don't it? <laughs> mix and match. Um, this is a 25 inch steel bar that I put a Sugahara tip on. They fit, and um, this bar was going in the trash, and I'm like, wait a minute. So I put the tip on it, and it works perfect. It lines up. You just got to re-drill it a little bit, and it's, it's ideal. It makes it 26 inches. You might have to add one drive link. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Sometimes if you choke up on the back of the bar, you're fine. This is a good-looking saw, man. I love this thing. It's got the same cylinder that I had on my original 660 that Eric Copsey sold me. Um, and he milled it, and I ported it to his specs, and it was like the best cylinder ever. And I still got it, and it's absolutely perfect. I got a velocity stack on it, and um, you know, foamy filter. It's a cool saw. Three outlet muffler. Farmer Tech cases. OEM still crank bearing seals, cylinder, intake boot, carburetor. It's all OEM shit on the inside. Right, okay. Enough jibber jabber. We're supposed to get some cold weather. We're supposed to get down to like um, maybe 60. Oh boy. Let's see what we got. I just need a minute. Look at that, that thing's cutting absolutely perfect. I gotta do the rakers, man. It's actually hurting my back to push on this thing. They gotta come down a little bit. I'll make this video over.